The reason I chose to study at the University of Southampton was because looking around online it certainly seemed like Southampton had the best facilities available in order to do the degree which I wanted to do. The ECS facilities are truly world class. Each of these desks has thousands of pounds worth of equipment that's available to you from the beginning of first year to work on projects and courseworks. I saw the facilities at other universities and I didn't think they were quite up to the standards of Southampton. We've had a new lab refit and we also have top quality research areas such as nanofabrication and optoelectronics. Some of our facilities in the department are primarily there to, to support our research and to support what we're doing in, in changing the next generation of our subject. But our teaching is research-led and we like to get our students involved uh, in the research that we do so that they can uh, understand how all of the things work as well. So our high voltage lab is an example of that and our clean room uh, as well. And there's a module that our students can take in the fourth year of their degree where they get to go inside the clean room and actually fabricate their own device. Uh, and then in the second half of the year they can come back and they can again use the facilities to, to look at their device and see how well it works. We are currently the largest multidisciplinary research clean room in the UK, so which makes us a unique place to conduct this type of research from nanotechnology all the way to the advanced photonics research. Of course, a lot of the MPhil and PhD research work is done in this Hamatish laboratory, but we also have a number of MSc and undergrad students here. For example, undergrad students can do their part three project work here, and also MSc project students can work here and use the facilities for various testing. So how the students use this laboratory is in part one and two, it's uh, formal technical laboratories and skills laboratories. So there's laboratories associated to each of the specific modules that they're learning and also a broad set of skills that when we spoke to industry that they wanted graduates to have. The level above is a specific resource, the one-off in the university. Um, it is a computing suite which our, only our students can use. Um, they go in there, they prepare for their work, they use it as a social space, they do their project work up there. It's a sort of, it's the hub of ECS really upstairs. And I think it, it kind of, it helps the fact that the equipment's available and the resources are available so that you can spend more time focusing on what you're doing, um, which is the most important thing.